Hello and welcome to episode 44 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. Yep, it's all the fours today and uh, I have to say I'm very excited. Although in the last episode I did say that the most exciting day of the year is transfer deadline day. I think really the most exciting day is the first day after transfer deadline day where you have a whole new exciting squad to play with. And my word, do we have an exciting squad. Holy shit. Now we do have a lot of new players, but as probably one of the most incredible characters in one of the most incredible TV programs of all time, Marlo in the Wire once said, that sounds like one of them good problems. Absolutely iconic, an incredible leader. And Kareem Diakra, an incredible leader. She's getting to the top and she has one of those good problems. She has an, a, a squad packed full of talent. We've got a couple of players. No, we've got three players now over from the Premier League who have sort of been out of the limelight there looking for a second chance. Berahino took his chance straight away. And uh, we've also got all the young French talent and then we've got some more experienced heads ready to come in when needed. So we need to look at what our ideal bench would be. I think this still for now is our starting eleven. Yan Karamo and Kai Alapu have, for me, despite what a lot of you have said in the comments, they, for me, have done enough to guarantee their start for now. I think either one of them would have to go three, maybe four games without scoring a goal for us to consider dropping them. Karamo, to be fair, is on his way there. He needs to score soon, especially with Berahino making a great debut in the last episode. So, uh, for now, we keep this as it is. Sefedra, I'm afraid, I think is... Um... It's not going to be on the bench. Neither is Loppy, as we know. Legali, probably not as well. But these three here present us a bit of a problem. Unfortunately for Pesetto, I feel like he's dropped out. Mitrovic drops in as the perfect extra option. And then it's really between Tisserand and Masawema. I think, really, we're going to have to replace Tisserand with Holgate and Masawema with Yike Benassa. Because, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's how it's going to have to go. So Pesetto, Tisserand... They're all there. I mean, Tisserand's got to be gutted. He's a new signing. Masawema probably might have wanted some extra minutes this season and maybe would have deserved them. Legali, as a second keeper, will always be on the bench, but he will go straight in if needed. And then, I guess this is our bench. It's a well-rounded bench, which is what I'm happy with. No one below 76 rated and uh, a lot of them ready to go when necessary. I think we are going to see some rotation in the cup. We might see that in a minute when I look to decide the side to play against Garnatova. But in terms of everyday usage, this is probably how it's set up. So after all that talking, we are going to have to look <laughs> at the sides for Garnatova today. So I think we can rotate. If we're going to rotate, it's going to be in the Europa League, probably. Just because there's more, there's more of a margin for error here. In the Cup, in the French Cup, I don't think we're going to rotate too much because we'd like a win. If we can rotate a bit here, everyone's on poor form. So we want to keep it above 85 team spirit if we can. Um, we'll play who's ever's on form, really. So I think Masonda, he'll get a go. Drops it to 90 at either attacking midfield or on the right. I think we'll play him instead of Wellington Nem today. Ike Benassa, we've not seen anything of him. Uh, dropping him in, actually, for Dooling doesn't change the team spirit. That's a surprise. Oh, no, he does. So it's only one down, though. So I think we'll play him in the Encham role. I've got big uh, big hopes for Benassa. I think he's going to be great for us. Great passer, good dribbler. Uh, pretty strong on the ball, pretty quick as well. I think it's going to be interesting. And then big Mitro. Well, Kyalapu's had a good run. So I think we're going to play Mitrovic in the middle. Karama out on the left. We need to get his uh, get his confidence back up. He's yet to score. Now Emre Moore. It would be good to give Cafu a run out. It does change the team spirit slightly. Uh, mm, tough choice. We said 85 is the limit. So if we bring in... Oh, no, actually, Cafu brings it up one. Okay, so we'll, we'll give Cafu a run out of here. Still at 88. Can still do a bit here. Um, we'll let Dooling play today again. Decore. Maybe Holgate gets a run out. Yeah, Holgate is a better option there. Oh, not Holgate. Not Wellington them at centre-back. Holgate in there. That works out okay. Still at 85. I think that's okay. It's It's changed. But we've got enough of the regulars to keep that team spirit at 85. I think it's a good thing to aim for. Legali, should we give him a run out? That drops it down to 79. That's too much. I think he's going to be only last ditch. Garnetova, I hate these fake teams. It just ruins the realism. That's why I don't like it. But they brought Jonathan Walters in. Uh, so he's one to watch out for. But even with a second team, this should be a win today. And I'm excited to play with a lot of these new players. 
But actually, I'm pretty pleased that even with that many changes, we can keep it above 85 team spirit. What we don't want to do is ruin this team spirit. We need to bed in some of the new players. Uh, Mitrovic is going to be interesting. I think it's good to partner him with Karamo, try some different variations. It's these games against sort of lower teams in the Europa League, where we've probably got the biggest license to experiment. So we've got to give it a go, but ultimately as well. If we lose to this team, then we're going to be in a really difficult position. And I think we could get caught out if we're uh, if we're not wary of them. Asibiadi, great challenge. Holgate, he should be good on the ball. He's been brought in as a right back as well. Spreads it nicely there to Ruben Duarte. Inside to Masunda. First time ball back into the Spaniard. He's under pressure, turns back, does well. Dooling into Benassa. Finds Duarte. Now Mitrovic slips in. Yike Benassa steps away from his man. Surely Cafu with the finish. Oh, and there we are. Off to an excellent start in front of the home fans. And there's so many new players, it's hard to keep up. But it's Jonathan Cafu, the winger who, uh, up to this point, might have been slightly disappointed as his start at Claremont. He's barely played a minute, but given time in the Europa League. And it was great build-up here. Mitrovic involved. Benassa surely must have been seeing... Uh, Seeing his first goal pan out in front of him, but it didn't quite work out. Keeper got a good hand to it, but Cafu finished from a, a tight angle, so we've done well there. It's a classic Claremont move, the build-up through the middle. Vanessa did well. Almost finished that, but Jonathan Cafu gets off the mark, opens his Claremont account with a good finish. It's a great start to the game. Oh, Masunda's read that well, and then he steams away, chips it into Mitrovic. Looks to chip the keeper. Oh, and Alexander Mitrovic, the fiery Serbian. I mean, I was a big fan of him at Newcastle. I think he showed a lot of promise. He's got a bit of a temper. He's got a bit of a mean streak, and I like that about him. I feel like Karim Diakra is the perfect manager as well to harness that mean streak. And, uh, well, today, already, he's shown not his mean streak, but his, uh, his real finishing ability. And that is beautiful. Outside of the boot, volleyed finish over the keeper into the bottom right-hand corner. And 2-0 uh, here, and the home fans are absolutely loving this. Only eight minutes in. And we've had two goals from two new signings, who both of which we've been yet to see in a Claremont shirt. Lovely. First corner of the game, and it looks like Benassa's pretty handy from corners. That's good to see. We'll try and whip this in. We've got a lot of big men in the centre. Benassa with the outswinger. Caramo's there with the header. Oh, Jan, Jan, he is the man. Oh, that is a sweet sight to see. Jan Caramo struggling to score in the first couple of games, but no problem there as he peels away, gets on the end of a lovely Benassa cross. So many options. So many options. And Caramo rose high there. Colomets now. Up against Alcibiade. Great play from Alcibiade. And he can slip Cafu away down this right-hand side. He's got Mitrovic making the run. Caramo at the far post. Cafu, we know, is very quick. Steps inside of one. And then he's away from another. Ball into Mitrovic. He can turn. Poke it with the right. Oh, oh it's still not cleared. Now Mitrovic. Back to Benassa. He'll have a go here with the right. <laughs> Just off the bar. And Benassa could have added a goal to an already excellent first game for Claremont Foot. All over the top, looking for Skamaka. Zagadu. Big Zago. Comes across, deals with it easily. And now Cafu steps inside of his man. Finds Mitrovic. Back to Masunda. Steps away again from Sahin. So much attacking talent here. Alcibiadi down the line looking for his man. Oh, Masunda has won it back though. Into the line. Steps inside of his man. Now Charlie Masunda. Low ball. Look if... Oh, the ball was not a low ball. If it had been a low ball, that probably wouldn't be a goal. But great work. Absolutely irresistible so far in this one. What a perfect game to bed in all these new signings. And there we are. Half time here in Claremont. And it has been a routine first half. Shots and possession. We're dominating. Absolutely no problems. And goals from so many different areas and from so many new players. And from Jan Caramo as well, which makes my heart warm. Let's uh, let's really put them to the sword in the second half. Dooling gets there. Masunda under pressure. Looks to turn away. Now we're just toying with them. Ball into Benassa. Steps away. Lovely play from out Benassa. Oh, the finish is just too predictable. 
We couldn't quite get that one in, but Benassa's looked really, really good. Alcibiade deals with that brilliantly and then finds the ball out to Duarte. He's underappreciated, Alcibiade, but little moves like that can just break up plays straight away. Lovely ball into Masunda from Karamo. Slips in Mitrovic. Oh, and Mitro is on fire. Oh, Mitro is on fire. I have absolutely no idea what accent I was doing that in, or even if that was a... That sounded a little bit like uh, in the style of a club singer. No, Mitro is in fire. That's a reference that not many of you will get, but that is an excellent finish. Very pleased with that. And Mitrovic with two goals on his debut. We've just got goals everywhere. We've got goals coming out of every orifice, and it is beautiful to see. So a couple of substitutions here. Jonathan Caffey, who actually was excellent, I have to say. He stepped in for more and looked like a real, real option there. More will come on, and then Koyalapu on in the place of Jan Karamo. Can he get a goal? Is he still first choice? I don't know. We've got so many options. Choosing who genuinely is our first choice front three is going to be absolutely impossible. Koyalapu inside to Encham. And Encham streaks away. He's got the captain's armband now. Looking for the run of his man. But he's found a way out of this one. He's hit it with, oh, with Venom. And it has taken some save to prevent another excellent goal in this game. Encham honours a substitute driving forward. I mean, what this is really going to do, all of these great players, is it's going to force the ones who've already been playing well to play better. The competition is going to be key. And uh, with so many great players, just got such an exciting season ahead of us. Benassa now over this one. Adds us a bit of craft from this. Moore's there with the head. <laughs> and then Ray Moore. Oh, it just gets better and better and better. And then Ray Moore. Is the Turkish delight a bit of a weird nickname? I don't know. I'm starting to enjoy it. But he has uh, he's popped up there. I think I remember, oh, those Claremont fans going absolutely mental. The whole town is shaking here as the substitute sneaks in. Sure, we're against a minnow in the Europa League, but we have not stopped scoring. And uh, he didn't even need to use his ridiculous jump stats there because they are, I think it's like 85 jump. This is, this is great fun, I have to say. Zagadu brings it out from the back. Strong running from Big Zags. Steps away from his man. He's got so much in This is in the 90th minute as well. This is our centre-back. Finds Masunda. Steps away. Just to push it to the far post. To Koyalapu for the header in the 90th minute. Could have made it six there. And it would have been a great goal. But hey, we can't complain. That was a drubbing. So rare we see drubbings of that standard. Eight shots on target. Five goals taken. Clinical. And Mitrovic gets man of the match. Cafu looked excellent. But Nasser, Masunda. Everyone looked good. Holgate, you've got a 5.5. .5. Even he looked pretty good, to be honest. And then more Koyalapu and Cham all coming on, all making a difference. No sign of Wellington them. No sign of a lot of our players who, uh, you know, we thought we needed. Oh, the headache is almost too much. But it, as we've said, great headache. Great headache to have. So match day one, and that is some way to start off. And we'll go top of the group. And it's going to be hard to uh, push us off there. The five goals for... Is really going to help us. Uh, we've got West Brom in there as well. I didn't even... Ri How the... F They've had a good season, to be fair. And Lazio as well. I mean, obviously, they're doing excellent in Serie A now. But not a particularly strong side. I think we should be able to top this group. If we keep performing like that. And things do not get any easier now. And it's an away game. And it's against Leon. This is one of the sides that finished above us last season. They were one of the big four, big three-ish. These are the sort of teams that we need to be beating to really stake our claim for a Champions League spot, or maybe even a push for the league. With the recruitment we've made, you've got to say that we are part of the discussion and we love being part of the discussion. Bit of a problem here. So we've rotated and we've rotated well. If Wellington then wasn't another downward arrow, I'd be happy to start all of these players, all of which would be uh, refreshed and ready to go. But Wellington them on a downward arrow, we can't do that. We either bring in Masunda or Benassa. I have to say Benassa was excellent. Only comes in at a 73 in attacking midfield, but I think he's got everything you need in that area. So I'm going to start him ahead of Masunda. Cafu over Moore is a tricky one. Cafu looked excellent in that game. I'm surprised to see Mitrovic on a downward arrow, but we'll deal with that. The only question here is Cafu. Do we see him? Berahino didn't get a chance in the last game as well. 
Neither did Wellington. Um, he's taken it badly. Mitrovic has some, taken something badly. Pff, I don't know. Uh, Alcibiade as well on a downward arrow. Do we bring in Holgate there? I think for team spirit's sake, probably not. Got Tisserand as an option. Don't think so. Uh, we will bring these two downward arrow players out of the side. Pesetto comes back onto the bench, as does Tisserand. I think we'll start as we are. I think we will. Oh, oh it's a tough choice. No, I'm going to start Cafu because he was great, putting some great balls. And uh, yeah, interesting. Already being able to rotate a bit, dependent on form. I mean, for me, form really dictates. It's sort of like a, a way of saying, did well in training that week. You know, Kareem Diakka has noticed they've had, they've trained well, they've played well in the last game, and they're ready to go. And uh, Ben Asser, I think, did enough. So it's going to be interesting to see how he does. Against the Leon side, full of quality, obviously. Depay, Fakir up front, Ravel Morrison in there. Diakabi at the back, someone we looked at signing. Yeah, tough game away from home. If we can win this, then we have started at a blistering pace. And you know what? It really is more by chance than by design. That Actually, the overall limit that we're working in means that we've built a side of so many similarly ranked players, similarly players of a similar ability, but they're all going to fight for their place. So, I mean, you know, not to go... We could have signed a player probably in the 80s, in the mid-80s. I'm sure there would have been a few players that we had the money for that would have signed for us, but actually to keep it around 77, 78 means we've managed to recruit a fair amount of players, probably more than we would have done, but also they're all looking to compete Looking to fight against each other for a place. And I think that's really going to help. Cafu, nice ball out into Duarte. He's found a bit of space here. He's going to go route one down the line looking for Koyalapu. Keepers come out. Read it well. Lopez will collect. Oh, he's taking it down. You do not see that very often. Can't remember it ever seeing that, actually. And it's allowed them to start a nice attack here. Fakir turns away. Ball into Traore is a good one. Oof, just why? Well, good play there from Leon. Creative stuff. Got to be wary of him. It's a top, top side. Good ball into Fakir. Now Morrison. Decore reads it very, very well. And he needed to. Spreads it wide here to Duarte. Looking to take Traore down the line, but steps back in. That's smart play. Benassa. Little back heel into a champ. He'll keep it moving. No need to rush this. Into Cafu. He's looking for the options here. Cafu taking his time into a champ. Slips it into Yang Caramo. Back into Olivier and champ. Into the box now and champ. Surely! Oh, Olivier! <laughs> no way! That, I, that had to be 1 0. Great close control. It just slipped him in. Did enough to get away from his mat. He had so much goal to aim for. It's always been his downfall of finishing. And uh, that should have been 1-0. Cafu, easy interception there. He can slip it down the line into Jan Caramo. Should get there ahead of Marcelo. Back into Jonathan Cafu. Steps away from his man. Puts a ball into the far post for Jan Kalio and Koyalapu. Why do I keep calling him Jan Koyalapu? I don't know. They're so closely linked. They're almost like one person for me. But Koyalapu, well, I mean, he just doesn't have the stats to back it up. Why is he in the team? He shouldn't be there. He's too young. He's not good enough. But my word, does he keep scoring? And he sneaks ahead of, is that Raphael? The ex-Manchester United right back. And uh, he's got another goal to his name. That's four goals already this season. For Goodwin Koyalapu. And he rose highly there. He's a great finisher we know. Not necessarily a great header of the ball. But uh, there's the first goal for us. 23 minutes in. And it's that familiar face. Great work from Cafu as well. Dooley misses the tackle on Fakir. Allowing him to break forward. Finds Ravel Morrison. Out to Mendy. He's got options here. This is dangerous. Benassa overcommits in the wrong direction. Fakir now into the box. It's blocked. Fakir gets another go. And it's wide. And Leon still really not able to trouble Bernadoni. Depay. Nice ball out to Mendy. Alcibiade trying his hardest to get back. And he does. Very well. And then he slips it down the line to Jan Caramo. Deserted here. But we know hold up is one of his best attributes. And he finds Koyalapu. Slips it through to Jonathan Cafu. 
Oh, steps away from his man. Cafu inside now. <laughs> Jonathan Cafu gets his first goal in some style. Can we stop scoring? Can we stop scoring incredible goals? I don't think so. I think this might be it now for the rest of the season. Just going to have to sit back and enjoy because we are spreading the ball around and finishing beautifully. This first touch here from Cafu, just to chip it over his man and then it's an outside of the boot finish. Oh, we are on fire. Boom shakalaka. And there we are, half time, and what a half that was for Claremont for away from home. It's been some very attractive football and some great finishes. Uh, Leon have had their fair share of the game. They've just yet to work Bernardoni, and that's been their downfall. That's never going to work. You've got to get it on target at least. Leon trying to work their way back into this one. Fakir turns, takes the shot, but that was never going to work, was it? Cafu fouled, surely. Gets the ball away eventually. Caramo spreads it wide to Duarte. That's great work. And now the break is on as Duarte receives it back from Koyalapu. Benassa in the box. Duarte steps back inside. Koyalapu can't win it, but it's still our ball. Dulane back to Incham. Oh, can't step away from Toussaint. So despite having less possession, we've looked excellent in this game. And uh, Leon just failing really to get back into it at all. Benassa takes it forward now. Steps inside of Marcelo. Benassa, can he find his first goal for Claremont? It's not going to be. That was so close. He looks like a real talent. He really does. We've been scouting him for a while. For over half a season now. And he's... Uh, Looks to be showing a real goal threat from central midfield. He couldn't quite curl that one. We're still looking for that central midfielder who can score goals. His finishing isn't that great, but his uh, movement is excellent. Oh, great work from Fakir. Finds Traore. First real dangerous shot of the game for Bernardoni, and it was a comfortable one in the end. Asibiadi streaking forward. This is why we love him. Oh, and he's away from Depay. Such speed. Ball into Caramo. Now Kyalapu lays it off to Benassa with the left foot. Oh, come on. It's coming. It's coming. And only 66 minutes into the game and it's a triple substitution just because we can. Berahino, Musunda and more coming on. Uh, we want to win this one. We're going for it. And uh, Benassa slips back into central midfield. Musunda now in the Wellington Nem roll. And uh, yeah, we're going balls out of the bath. There's no point in uh, messing around here. Duarte gets a foot to that. Now Alcibiadi steps away, steps back inside. Masunda. Ball into Berahino. He turns away and he's fouled on the edge of the area. Sh oh, what? What? Yeah, for, thank fuck. How? That was obviously. It should, should have been a penalty, even if it wasn't in the area. Berahino taken out. Can we score our first three tick kick? Well, we do have Emery Moore now, who is, uh, with Ivy Lopez gone, our best free kick taker. We've come so close. Can we get this one in? This looks about right. Just over the wall. Emre Moore! Oh, for God's sake. The amount of times we've hit the crossbar as well. It's getting a bit ridiculous now. Benassa spreads it wide though to Duarte. Can there be another goal in this anyway? Caramo around the corner into Berahino. Side of Berahino. Curls it in. And the substitute makes it three here in Leon, And we have swept aside one of our main rivals and it is oh so beautiful inside of Berahino fresh off the back of a hat trick in his last start comes in today as a substitute and uh, it's Caramo slips him through he's not going to miss from that angle and he curls it past his keeper and it's just a simple ball in from Caramo defender over committed and uh, Berahino as we know back in the goals there we have it this game over here and that is time up here in Lyon and it's a 3-0 win away from home. Goals from Koyalapu, Kafu and Berahino back in the side as a substitute. Gets his goal. Took it very, very well. And it is a pleasure to be playing with Claremont Foot at the moment. So many options. And every single one of them seems to be working. Benassa only grabbing a 5.5 there. I thought he was good. He missed his chances. But um, yeah, I mean, even he looks like a good option at attacking midfield. Cafu gets the man of the match, and rightly so. He got the goal and an assist. Koyalapu, Karamo, everyone playing well. And then Berahino wants to score a goal. It's just, I mean, whoever we play seems to be working. 3-0 away from home. We never expected that against one of our real Champions League qualification rivals. And we go top of the league, and by a distance now. 
three points ahead of Nice and PSG. PSG picking up their first loss of the season. And uh, yeah, we're undefeated. We've only conceded two goals. And everything's looking great. So there we have it. As we reach the end of the episode, we now have four internationals in our side. That is unprecedented. We only ever had Janine, our goalkeeper, who was playing for, I don't know, can't remember who he was playing for. But Vanessa now has made his way into the Morocco squad. I don't know if that's a new call-up, but uh, it might have been. Mitrovic, Serbian international stalwart, he's been in there for a while, as has Moore. And I think Masunda has been in there for a while. But uh, they've all looked excellent on their debuts. Any one of them could slot into the side perfectly. And uh, the great thing is we don't even need him to slot in straight away. It's all looking excellent. There's Emre Moore. Cheeky little man. He's looked excellent. We can't put a foot wrong at the moment. Will we in the next episode, though? Well, Troy's looks to be one we should win. But then we've got a real challenge in the Europa League. But as you can see here, the games are stacking up. Games two, three days apart, and we'll have that all season. So it's great to have the strength and depth. We're really going to need it. And uh, I'm enjoying myself immensely. I'll see you in a bit.